If you own an OC818 microphone, make sure you download our Polar Designer plugin. You can download it from our, from our webpage, um, install it. It's available for Mac, it's available for uh, Windows, for every DAW. Um, and the Polar Designer gives you the possibility to manipulate the Polar pattern in post-production. And not only for one band, you can do it up to five bands. So you could, for example, have a very directive microphone, like a super hypercardioid in the high frequencies. You can still have a omnidirectional, very boomy sounding microphones in the lows. And it even makes it possible to, for example, if you have an OC818 between a snare drum and a hi-hat, to make two microphones out of that. So you split it up and you can have the hi-hat microphone and the snare microphone. So if you want to use the Polar Designer plugin in post and mixing, you need to make sure you record already in dual output mode. So you um, use this second uh, mini XLR cable, which is supplied with every uh, OC818 microphone. Uh, you plug it into the rear output of the microphone. The main XLR goes to channel one, the second goes to channel two. Uh, if you record on a stereo uh, track, that would be left main XLR and uh, right the second output. And you need to set your polar pattern switch on the microphone to cardioid. And then you are free to go. And uh, as soon as you are in your DAW, you um, get the Polar Designer plugin onto this track, either a stereo audio track or you sum them up, these two mono tracks, to a stereo bus. So important left channel, main uh, or front side of the microphone and the back side is the right channel. Our Polar Designer plugin is free and it's constantly developing. So even now already we have three or four buttons more than we had in the beginning. Um, so whatever I say now might change over time. So um, you have basically um, your equalizer looking like window here, uh, where you see different bars, but this is not an equalizer, this is for polar pattern. So you can design, hence the name, your polar pattern. Um, so the first thing you might want to do is you just want to switch the pattern just by clicking onto these different preset um, polar patterns, which are the typical ones, broad cardioids, cardioid, hypercardioid, and so on. Um, you can select how many bands you want to use. So if you go to one band mode, that would be the same as if you use your switch on the front side of the microphone. Um, there's also a special zero latency mode for that. Because uh, especially for Pro Tools, if you want to record with the uh, Polar Designer already on the track, you want to use the zero latency mode to have no latency at all. You can still manipulate broadband the Polar pattern. Uh, in post, you probably don't want to do that. And then let's say I want to use four different bands. Um, I can then start, you know, just by listening um, what, what sounds best. Um, there's the, we, we call it in the beginning of the project, the danger zone, which is the zone uh, below Omni, because from there on your polar pattern you choose will face into the backside of the, um, of the microphone, which is useful, for example, if you want to have uh, one, two microphones out of one, where the front is facing a, second sound, a certain sound source and the back is facing another one. Um, yeah, then just use it as an equalizer. Just play around, boost, cut uh, in, in equalizer terms. So change the polar patterns. You can also change the frequencies, so the bands as they are. And um, yeah, I would really say adjust it by ear. What's uh, helpful for that is we have a solo and mute feature. So you can solo every band. So for example, now I would only hear the low frequency band, uh, which is easier to listen to while I manipulate it. Um, this is if you want um, to use it as a yeah, sound creating tool. If you want to use it as a problem solver, uh, there's two, there are two things you want to use. First of all, proximity control. So that means I record it too close. I have a too big bass boost um, due to the proximity effect. Or the other one, I recorded a singer too far away, he doesn't have, or he, she doesn't have the, the, the bottom end. So for this, you can use the proximity control. So you could either, either cut or boost the proximity effect. And this is not simply a, a low shell filter. This is really modeled after the true proximity effect of the microphone. And the second thing, which is quite cool, you have this terminate spill and maximize target features. So what that basically does is um, it makes life for lazy sound engineers easier 
because um, you can simply pay, for example, uh, let's say I have a microphone right in between the snare and the hi-hat and I want to enhance my snare sound. Um, then I go here to maximize target. What you want to do first, you want to loop in your DAW, for example, the snare hit, just loop it. You go to maximize target and uh, you click maximize. And then your polar pattern will adjust so that this signal, the snare hit, has the biggest energy, the, the, the loudest sound, basically. Mm -hmm. And then um, you do the opposite. You loop a section where only the hi-hat is played, no snare. And you go, we call it Terminate, because of this famous Austrian guy, Terminate. Um, and if you click there, the polar pattern will be changed in a way that this signal is uh, the least loud sounding. And if you have those two, you can do a second thing. You can go maximize target to spill. Then the polar pattern will adjust so that the best ratio between the snare hit is the loudest and the higher hit is the less loud um, signal will be effective. Um, because it can be that those are two different things. And uh, on the bottom of the plugin, you see already a new feature which we brought in because customers wanted it, is a sync channel. So if you have two, three, four surround stereo, whatever microphones with OC818 microphones, you can sync them. So that means if I change all my Polar Designer plugins to, for example, sync channel one, and I change something here, all the others will change with it. So ideal for, as I said, surround or stereo microphones. And last but not least, if you found a preset which you like a lot, you can go to load or save preset. We also have some presets from some of our friends on our webpage. You can download them for drums, for snare, etc. And uh, the last thing I want to talk about is um, this, let's say, a little uh, scientific control of the equalization control. Um, what this does is, um, imagine you have a, a room which is very reverberant. So you have a lot of room sound. If you put an Omni microphone there, it will capture a lot more of the bass because the space, for example, you have a, a bass drum in this room and the bass from the bass drum will spread in the room in all directions and it will be reflected in all directions. So a microphone, which an only microphone, which captures reflections from the whole 360 degrees will get more energy. So in a diffuse room, this uh, omnidirectional microphone will have more bass simply to the effect how the, the polar pattern is. And uh, what this control does is it will equalize, that means basically cut the bass, that this omnidirectional microphone sounds like a cardio microphone. So it, it uh, boosts, uh, sorry, cuts the low frequencies to get the same, let's say, energy. And you will have the sound of the cardioid because the cardioid is somehow the, the sound of the CK12, which is the most uh, famous, let's put it that way. And you have the opposite too. So if you are in a very dull room, if you happen to record in an echoey room, for example, uh, you can use the free field equalization. So that means independent of what I said here, the polar pattern will be as it said. So for example, here, uh, super cardioid in the lows, but the sound will be the same as if it would be in cardioid mode. So it's a little bit tricky. We always say, just play around with it. So besides, as I said, these uh, polar pattern um, switches or, or the graphic is used as an equalizer, uh, you can also really use this thing as an equalizer because we have for every band a boost and a cut. So you can boost every band by 18 dB or cut it down by minus 24. So if you, for example, are happy with the sound, but you might want a little bit more high end, you can do that here by boosting the, the highest band. If you record in dual output mode, best thing would be if you have two identical preamps. You need to make sure that the gains are set the same. So if you, you know, tune your gain to, let's say, 20 dB on your front microphone channel, do the same for the, for the second one. Don't adjust it, just use the same gain setting. So as a stepped gain or a digital gain would be the best. Um, our Polar Designer plugin um, is constantly changing. So we always get inputs from customers. Um, this is why it might look like this right now, it might change. We're also working on new plugins. There will be something new at the AAS show this year uh, where we present a Ambisonics plugin. So how you can use two OC818 microphones for Ambisonics. So there will be a lot of things coming here.